David Levin, and this is another episode of Pop Goes the Culture, the behind-the-scenes TV stories you wouldn't have known from the people who were there. Today, I'll continue my conversation with the beloved 1950s Jimmy Olsen and Lois Lane, Jack Larson and Noel Neal of The Adventures of Superman. In this archival interview, conducted about 10 years prior to their passing, Noel talks about appearing in the Kirk Allen serials of the 1940s and what it was like for her to take over for Phyllis Coates as Lois Lane. And the pair talks about their favorite cliffhanger trap. What, what was your favorite trap? Was there like a trap that you remember just like being sort of... We had so many of those. <laughs> What was your favorite trap? Getting the wrong paycheck one day. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Remember Beth? Well, of course, you remember Beth Epstein. She'd come around on the set for the envelopes and hand out the paychecks. And I finally opened mine. I said, wow, I must have gotten a raise. And then I realized it wasn't mine. <laughs> and the little gentleman, the little cute one that swept up the stages and whatever, he got this. No. Mo, oh gosh, he got, I got his check by mistake, and I bet he was a little porked off when he got mine. <laughs> and he was making more money than you he were, a lot of course, money. the irony, the irony of life, it's all okay. Oh, <laughs> my oh, dear, no. we won't go, we did no, go down no, that no, memory no. lane. But um, let's talk a little bit about when you joined the cast. You played Lois in the Kirk Allen right, films. Right, right, the series. Right. Um, was not there for the first season of Super, and then came in. Could you sort of walk me through the 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 thing? Start off with the Kirk Allen stuff. Well, we did uh, very well for Columbia on the uh, serials with Kirk Allen, or cliffhangers as I call them, which is what they were. Uh, afternoon, Saturday afternoon theaters, and uh, we made 15 chapters one month, and then it um, made money. So, in a couple of years later, they said we're going to make some more. Fine, fine, but they, uh, this gentleman producer, went back to New York and said, "I want to make 26 TV things of the Superman series." And they said, "Fine, go ahead." And he made them, and then uh, things went amiss after the first 26, and he was giving away points. So George, when I gathered, worked the first 26 for nothing because he didn't have the percentage to give to this. And so I don't know, I just got a call one day from Mr. Ellsworth, who was sent out to California to take over the entire business, and he said, Hi, no. Mr. Ailsworth, would you like to do so, uh, Lois Lane again? I said, sure, fine, you know, work, work, work. Mm -hmm. And that's just how simple it was, because they knew that I had done the originals with Kirk Allen. But Kirk was really just maxed out because he wasn't even considered. We didn't know they were doing it. They didn't know we were doing ours, obviously. Right. So uh, it was quite a mess. but. Uh, so I joined the group and did the last 78 with them. Just the only 78, right? Yeah, right, 26, 26, 26. <laughs> what, was it, what was it like sort of joining afterwards? I mean, I know there yep. was a crew, and then mm -hmm. Phyllis Coates left, and then you came in. And well, it was a little um, testy at first. The first thing I had to do was a scene with George as Superman. And of course, I was saying, oh, gee, we're glad to see you, or whatever. And I just. I don't know, I could look at George <laughs> in his underwear, as they call it, and uh, get real emotional about it. And uh, so we had a few takes, and uh, the director got a little porked off at me, and, uh, and George, bless his heart, my first wonderful thing from him, and he said, called the director over and said, can we take 15 minutes off? Sure, fine. He's, and he was nice enough to say, the kids just breaking into a family group, you know. So we got back and got the scene, but that was my first try. Very anyway, nice. It you. worked out fine, you know. Very nice. Thanks to, to George. Oh yeah, so nice. And I had a father for a newspaper man, so. What did he say about your your stint as Lois Lane? Well, I think Papa was gone before he. Of course, they were still in Minneapolis, mother and father. And their little wafy daughter was out here. Doing the actress yeah, thing. Yeah, right. I was supposed to go to college and be 
take newspaper work, whatever, and that was, I came out here and that was the end of that. What was it like for you guys when, when things switched over from, um, from Phyllis Coates to Noel? Are we rolling? Yes, we are. Really? Yeah. Now we're rolling. Action. Action. <laughs> Be nice to <laughs> you. Hey. Yeah, boss. Welcome uh, back. Uh, we're we're back. back. Hi there. Well, uh, no, no one and I knew each other. We had the same agent. And <laughs> don't do that. He was, I'm sorry. He was swearing. Sorry, he was a nifty <laughs> guy. Yeah. Right. We had the same agent. So Noel, Noel and I knew each other. Mm -hmm. And um, um, I had been... Um, under contract to Warner Brothers, and then it's this is ancient history, but but the movie industry closed down at a certain mm -hmm. time with the rise of television, and when Warner's and MGM and Fox yeah. had to sell their their theaters, they had a new block booking, and so there was no work yeah. at a certain point, mm -hmm. and everybody in the contract was given their walking papers, and they said, we'll buy you back when we decide how to make films. Mm -hmm. And at this time, they weren't making television films. And uh, so Superman was the first, one of the first they were making. When I was asked to do it, I really didn't want to do it. On our very next episode, Noel Neal and Jack Larson's archival conversation continues. We'll learn why Jack Larson originally didn't want to do the Superman show, and what happened when that show took off and Noel's cameo in the Christopher Reeve Superman movie. It's one you won't want to miss. Till then, what was your favorite episode of The Adventures of Superman? Let me know in the comments and I'll feature the best comments in a future live episode. Thanks for watching. Don't miss Ask Them Yourself, a live show where you can be part of the conversation 